So here we have the crank journal, which we're going to clean off. Make sure there's no dirt on it to cause any scratching of the bearing once we put it in. Clean round on the top. Just make sure it's all clean. And we get our big end shell. We're going to insert that into the con rod at the bottom, which I'll need to turn the engine over a little bit the other way so I can see which side I need to be. A little bit of dirt in the bottom of the con rod actually, so we'll clean that out. In our ray. That's it. Pull that down a little bit. Now you can see, if you look up into there, you can see the end of the con rod coming down with the piston we've just inserted at the top. So now, put the bearing onto the top, bearing into the con rod, which is now in there, if you look, can see. Now has the yeah. bearing in. So, mind your camera, but we're just going to put a little bit of oil around the top of that journal, so that when we pull this down, Now that is sitting onto the, on the crank pin. We now get our bottom bearing cover with our lower bearing in, which we're using the old ones because there's nothing wrong with them. Bit of oil again, loads of oil when we're rebuilding. Yeah. Locate the pin with the <laughs> hole in the crankshaft, in the con rod connecting rod to give it its proper name. Push that on. We'll put two bolts in it, which I haven't got. That's one in each hole. And get it up with the Do them up loosely with the ordinary ratchet, and then these have to be torqued what they put to a specific setting, which is you get from the, the manual for the vehicle. Each uh, different bolt, especially on here, on the engine side of things, has a torque, what they call a torque setting. Mm. This is a torque wrench, which is set to the Correct setting. Which is 25 for this particular Ford Cortina Kent engine, which is 1500. And what should be, when that click occurs, that's the torque setting, mm -hmm. but the torque wrench should be moving, That the bolt should be moving when that click happens. If you watch, listen for the click, that the bolt was moving. I'll just check them. I'll run through all the others again. We've done just to make sure that we haven't missed one which is quite easy to do. Okay, number four. And now I just have to take off the, the extension and do number three without the extension on. Which is quite awkward because we've got the engine in still, which it would be easier if it was on a bench. Well, we could do it. Come in this side to do this one. Now that one's tight, and that one's tight. So everything is now torqued up, ready to put our sump back on. <laughs> 